After you've installed the Samsung New PC Studio program, what you want to do is connect your phone to the PC and let the computer uh, automatically install the drivers for you. Now, you don't actually need to use the uh, Samsung New PC Studio program to access the internet. You only need the drivers that come with the program uh, in order for the computer to recognize the phone as a modem. Now, uh, this may be rare for some folks, but uh, or not. If you have a memory card in your phone, and after the computers installed the drivers, you see a green memory card, or this is any time you connect your phone to the computer. If you ever see a green memory card and it says like mass uh, storage connection or PC connection or something like that, what you want to do is exit out of that on the phone. I probably uh have a little clip on how to do that like in a split sec. Alright so essentially this is what you see um, if you have the mass storage um, connection enabled on your phone and if you have a, a memory card inside. Uh, in order to get out of the screen all you gotta do is uh, hit done and uh, select um, select yes. Simple as that. Um, but after you do that, what you want to do is go to your control panel, uh, go to your phone and modem. Uh, uh, by the way, this control panel right here, this is the Windows 7 control panel. Now, Normally, and this is for XP and Vista users, normally it will look like this. In order to get to where I was, go to View By uh, and click on Large Icons. Um, in Windows 7 case, it may be a little link over here that says View in Classic Mode or something like that. Either way, it will look like this. And once you go into your phone and modem, uh, control panel, go to modems and make sure that there is a Samsung mobile modem here and that it has a COM number to it. Uh, if you don't see this then um, you're out of luck. Uh, try posting your comments on uh, how you or what you did so far or post your problems or whatever in the comment section um, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to walk you through to a solution. Um, with your scenario or whatever. So hopefully, hopefully y'all won't have this issue if y'all follow my steps. Um, so after you've done that, what you want to do is go to your uh, networking and sharing center or in Windows XP case, um, your network connections. Click on that. And what you want to do is set up a new connect. Uh, yes. Set up a new connection or network. Uh, for Windows XP users, um, and I think Vista users, I'm not sure, but um, it will be like a little link up here that says like create a new network connection or something like that. Either way, click on that link. Now, what you want to do is uh, set up a dial up connection. Um, in Windows XP case, uh, it may say like um, you you want to manually set up your connection I have more uh, detailed instructions on how to do that on uh, on howardforms.com I'll post a link on how to get to that um, in the video description what you want to do after you've uh, selected set up a dial-up network you want to select your dial-up modem or the Samsung mobile modem and for your dial-up network, for your for your dial-up phone number, excuse me, you want to uh, type in pound seven seven seven. And as for your username, you want to type in your four-digit, yeah, ten-digit, excuse me, um, phone number at my metro PCS dot com. All right, and for your password, you want to type in my metro p 
PCS. Simple as that. Um, I typically leave the remember this password option on just so I won't have to worry about typing it in over and over again. Even though I've heard that it doesn't matter what you type for your password, you could play around with that. But, you know, if you get any error messages, just type this in and hopefully that will be foolproof. Now for the connection name, oh yeah, and XP users, this may be on a different screen. But you just type in anything you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'll type this in just for reference. And I typically leave the allow other people to use this connection uh, um, selection or whatever. I I typically leave that uh, on. So you know when another person tries to uh, log on or whatever, uh, the, the settings won't change around or something like that. Um, now, it'll try to connect, but what will happen is that you get the 691 error message. Now, if you pretty much uh, ha didn't even like look at um, my tutorial up until now, and you've managed to get to this part where you get the 691 error message, um, for okay, once you get to this point, what you need to do is go to your control panel uh, er, control panel um, go to your network and internet um, and go to uh, okay you know what scratch that go to your control panel um, make sure that you're in the classic mode or the large icon modes and go to your phone and modem now what you want to do right here is select your Samsung mobile modem, go to its properties. Uh, now what you want to do for XP users, uh, you'd be able to go straight to the advanced tab and you'd be able to type in some stuff. Which for uh, I guess Vista and 7 users, you want to type or uh, select change settings so you can change them. Um, by the way, you would have to be an administrator to do all this, just so you know. Um, make sure that for under modem tab, that the speed is as high as it can go. And for the advanced tab, what you want to do is type this in. Now, type this in exactly as you see it. Um, I'll probably include this little script or whatever in the description of the video. But make sure there are no spaces, no extra or anything like that. Just leave it as you see it. And what you want to do is press OK. Now, you don't have to actually exit out of the phone and modem uh, control panel or whatever. Just make sure that um, you type that stuff in and press OK on that part. Now, what you want to do is try to connect again. Now you will get a 651 error message. Sometimes you'll get a uh, 628 error message if I can get it to pop up. Or a 692 error message. Um, regardless, what you need to do after you get one of these error messages, what you want to do is go back to your Samsung mobile modem, go to properties, go back to your advanced tab, and take the... Uh, script out and make sure that there is nothing left in here otherwise this won't work so press OK and I guess you could exit out of the phone and modem if you want um, so try again one last time and voila now for Windows 7 it will like try to test the connection um, I'm not sure if Windows uh, Vista does this as well. The XP users, um, you'd simply be able to uh, connect to the internet at this point. Well, actually, uh, I take that back. There's really one more step. So, uh, after you've um, done all of that, what you want to do is go to your Internet Explorer, or go to the um, control panel, 
uh, go to Internet Options. If you're doing this through the Internet Explorer, just go to Tools and Internet Options like that. Now what you got to do is, um, this is your Metro PCS connection. What you want to do is, uh, I would typically uh, always dial my default connection if you're trying to use this connection. Um, so obviously, yeah, you want to always try to dial, so it will always try to use the Metro PCS connection. Um, but after you do that, what you want to do is go to your settings. Uh, make sure that you have Metro PCS selected and click settings. Um, what you want to do is make sure that this is automatically detect setting. Yeah, detect settings is uh, checked, and you want to use a proxy server. Now. The address is uh, wap.metropcs.net, and the port number is 3128. Now, um, the username is the same as before, and sometimes the password will be blank. Don't, don't worry about typing anything in right there, so just press OK and leave it at that. So, after you've um, configured your internet uh, options or whatever, um, you should... Uh, essentially have internet service um, now right now um, I also have an Ethernet oh jeez hold on um, right now I also have an Ethernet cable, uh, cable um, connected uh, now I'm just going to take that out just to show you uh, how slow the internet connection is uh, with the Metro PCS connection by the way um Windows uh, 7 users, this is how you would connect. Okay. Either way, this is how slow it is. Okay, but essentially, pages still load up. Um, Google uh, will typically load up pretty fast. Um, you know, it's a pretty decent. Uh, internet connection, you know, for a tethered phone. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, yeah, on the side note, um, sometimes even when you do all the steps that I've told you, um, the phone may not always connect to the internet, and this could be the fault of the phone settings. Um, this is something you should always do uh, before you even try to connect or uh, if you've connected before and um, sometimes it won't connect again what you want to do is go back to your master menu uh, I'll skip to that part real quick once you get into your master menu you want to go all the way to uh, port map hopefully you can see that on the screen um, now you'll see these settings right here, um, or folders or whatever you want to call them. Um, the DS data setting, that should always be set to USB as you can see right there. I probably have comment boxes or some sort of uh, annotations um, on screen if you can't see that. Um, you always want to make sure that the DM or DIAG or whatever that is. Um, you always want to make it the opposite of what it is. Um, so as you can see right now, it was on USB. Uh, switch it to UART and see if that uh, gets your phone to connect or whatever. So if you're having issues connecting your phone um, and this is on one, switch it to the other and see if that works. And for the last one, uh, the HFK FTC setting um, always make sure this is on UART otherwise um, it won't work at least I don't think you always want to play around with those and you know just make sure that uh, that those are in the right settings okay alright folks so that's the end of my tutorial hopefully this uh, info or whatever um, to help y'all in your 
request or whatever um, to tether your Samsung Messenger 2 phone. So if you have any issues or questions, feel free to post comments and, you know, I'll try to answer them. So with that said, have a good day.